There's this amazing picture of my coworker. It's him reading a Ninja Turtles book lying next to a super soaker. When the super soaker came out, it was a game changer. The slogan, wetter is better, was essentially a mantra for kids during summer break. So when I went to Atlanta to interview the guy responsible for all that, I had to show him the photo. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Lonnie Johnson invented the super soaker back in 1982. But that is not his only invention. Well, I have over 100 patents. Everything from the Nerf gun to a thermoelectric energy converter. He also worked on NASA's Galileo mission to Jupiter and alongside the U.S. military. The first super soaker actually I made in my shop in my basement in the evenings when I would come home from work. And at the time I was actually working on the stealth bomber program back when it was highly classified. And I actually <laughs> couldn't even tell my wife what I was working on during the daytime. It was that, that top secret. The original name for the Super Soaker was The Drencher. We ran into a challenge uh, regarding the name because another inventor claimed it. So we changed the name to Super Soaker just to avoid having to, to deal with that. Super Soaker is definitely a way better name. When he started, Lonnie wasn't trying to create a toy for kids. I was working on a new type of heat pump that would use water as a working fluid instead of Freon. And I was experimenting with uh, some nozzles that I machined. And I shot a stream of water across the bathroom and I thought, geez, maybe I should put this hard side stuff aside and work on something fun like a water gun. It still works. And this brings me back to a previous point. Monty Johnson is a super genius scientist. This is his lab. And this is what he's working on now. Yeah, right now I'm working on advanced battery technology. My goal is to develop a battery that will store about three times the energy of a lithium ion battery. In comparison, the super soaker might not seem as hard science, but it was still a really, really important invention. 